Now we're going to do a peachy gold daytime look. I'm Lola, I'm a freelance makeup artist, and this is Anastasia. She's going to be our model for the day, and we're at Fashion Group International New York. So first off, we're gonna start with a lotion. We're gonna use that, it's gonna act as a primer for the skin. She seems to be a little dry and a little red. So we're gonna start at the jawline and work our way up. We're giving you a lot of lotion. So the next thing we're gonna do is use a primer. And the primer that we're using is from Inglot. And what it's gonna do is help create a smooth canvas for when we apply our foundation. She's pretty much set now and we're gonna put on a foundation. So we're gonna go with this color here. It's a beige color, great for Anastasia's skin tone. And we're gonna start by applying it to the chin area and the, around her jawline. Now we're gonna go under her eyes with the foundation and we're gonna go in a C motion. And what's this gonna do is going, it's gonna make her look more awake, more youthful, make you look like you had eight hours of sleep last night, even if you only had four. <laughs> and under her eyes, I'm using a foundation shade that's one shade lighter. And we're also gonna go on the eyelids. So you can see already, she's a lot less red. You can see the beige in her skin coming out. Now we're gonna set her foundation with a powder. I'm using a loose powder you can use. You can also use a compact. Okay, so now we have a bare canvas to work with. Her face has been completely applied with foundation. Now we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this coppery color here. Um, we're gonna put this in towards the end of her eye, right over here, towards the end and we're gonna pat this in. We're gonna use a very pale gold. This is actually number 30 from Inglot. And we're gonna apply it to the tear duct area. Um, next, we're gonna put shadow in the center of her eye and we're gonna go for the peachy color here. It's a peach with a gold iridescence to it. And we're gonna apply it right in the center and we're gonna pat it in in between the two colors so they look like they're nicely blended into one another. So next we're gonna take a brown shade, a little bit darker than her skin tone, and we're gonna blend it into the crease to contour the space between her, her brow and her lid. We're gonna use a concealer to go under her brow bone. This is gonna give her a neater effect and it's gonna, also gonna give her a really nice highlight. And we're gonna go on top of her brow and do the same thing, but very gently. And we wanna make sure it's well blended so that you can't see any lines. Now we're gonna go back to our color palette and we're gonna go from these colors right here to give her a nice brow highlight and just pop that right in the arch of her brow. And we can see she has a beautiful highlight. So we wanna keep this look looking natural. What we're gonna do is take a dark brown shade and we're gonna use it to do a soft line in the eye, a soft eyeliner. We're gonna drag it and then slightly flick it up. Now we're gonna take this peach colored blush here and we're gonna go straight down her cheekbones. And we're just gonna pat against her, her cheekbones. We're gonna go on the apples of her cheek with some NARS blush and Taj Mahal. And this is gonna give her a sun-kissed glow. Now we're gonna take a white eyeliner pencil and we're gonna go right in the tear line area of her eye. Okay, just like that. And you see it instantly makes her eyes look a lot brighter. But it's a little bit too harsh, so we're gonna tone it down with the same peachy color that we use on the corner of her eyelid. Next, we're gonna apply some mascara to her top lashes as well as her bottom lashes. To finish off the look, we're gonna use a pinky peach lip color here. And we're gonna start off by applying it to the center of her lips and then work our way out. Lastly, what we're gonna do is just spray a little bit of water on her face. We're gonna hold our bottle back and just spray it gently across her face. This is gonna set everything. So this is the finished look. I'm Lola, you can contact me at facebook.com slash image creation. I want to thank our model Anastasia and thank you Fashion Group International for having us.